Susan and welcome back to my channel. Today I think I'm going to do a refresh in my kitchen on the shelves behind me. It's about time I take everything down and give it a really good clean. And you know, you might think that I like change, but I'm not really one for change. I like to keep, if I like something, I like to keep it there for a long time. Now, of course, with the holidays, you have to change things up. But now that there isn't really any holidays, it's really difficult for me to know what to put on these shelves. So I'm going to keep it with spring because it's not summer yet and we've got plenty of time to do summer decorating. So I'm going to sort of basically put a lot of the same things back, just change them up a bit. To give it some height and I usually use the same pieces over and over again so let's try it again I just use these big dishes and I just lean them against I'm always nervous they're gonna fall I try to do as much of it and then I always put something heavy in front of it in front of it just to layer it a bit I like to layer things as you know so I thought because I got these nice wooden boards maybe I could do something with this to give it a bit more color or dimension okay so I like to put a lot of height at the top so I use my vases and Okay, so I'm going to put this jug right beside that jug. Next, I'm going to use this little little box that I had got at some vintage store, and I'm using it as a riser. It looks like a little drawer, doesn't it? And I added this little um, little knob. I'm going to be putting back my little bowl with all my little little cabbage cups that I had bought at the Tatter Tulip. So beside that, I'm going to be putting uh, my little wooden cutting board, like the little piggy one. And I'm just going to... Uh, then I'm going to layer it with the little tiny one that I got. Beside that, I'm going to add three little plates um, and use them as a riser. It's like parsley, doesn't it? But it's just a, a fake plant that I put in a, in a, in a clay pot and just set it beside that and of course I had put this little napkin right under the thing. I always like adding a little piece of material or a napkin. It just gives it a bit more interest and then I'm going to just place this little spring sign right beside the pot. Okay so that's it for the first shelf. <laughs> Now for the second shelf, I'm going to add a, an old vintage book and then place this rattan uh, jug that I had bought at the Tatter Tulip. And because I have the vases up at the top, you don't want to put one right underneath it. So you just sort of play with it and shift it in between so it doesn't look too crazy. Then I'm going to put these two books, these Liz Marie Galvin books. I need the, the other one. I think it says Cozy. This one's Seasons and this one's Create Your Own Cozy, but there's another one and I haven't got that one yet. So I'm just going to place that beside it. I'm going to add this wire basket beside these books. Another little wooden box that I had found at 
I think it was the thrift shop. I always keep my eye out for these little boxes to use as risers. Uh, put it over there. I'm going to use my little crock that I always put in here. I'm going to use another one of these half rounds that I got at the Tatter Tulip. So to play up on the piggies up there at the top, I found this little, I think it's a Ray Dunn piggy um, measuring cups. There was four of them, but they don't stack very well. So I'm just going to use one cup and a third of a cup because <laughs> they don't stack good. They should have made them so they stack a bit nicer. So that looks cute. So that kind of, like I said, it plays up on the piggies up there and I don't want to put too many piggies. Okay, so I'm going to add some more white. I'm going to use this uh, charger as a backdrop again. Found this little box at a thrift shop and I'm going to place my little cabbage salt and pepper shakers on top. So having the little charger at the back gives it more interest and a little bit of balance. So I'm adding another book to the other side just to balance this side out, add some more white. And I'm gonna use my green cabbage jug that I use for Easter and I'm going to place it right next to the basket. And then beside that, use a little white jug. Okay, so now for the, the top of the buffet, I'm going to, I'm basically going to do the same thing I had before. Over on this side, I'm going to use the big wooden um, cutting board. It grounds the decor on top. The crock with my uh, wooden rolling pins is going back on it. And then I'm going to add my cook to the side it again, like I had before. I'm going to use this little book end just to hold it all in place and it looks cute. And then just adding the little green cabbage bowls again with the little white jug and the little wooden spoons. I like little vignettes. I think they, they just balance off the shelves better than just having everything floating around on the counter or on the top of the table. So next I'm gonna use this basket that has a lid on it, like a box basket. And I'm just gonna place it over here and then I'm gonna let it rest on the wall. And I've already added this little green um, towel. And I was trying to figure out where can I put this little crocus that I had just bought. I think I just bought it yesterday and it was just budded. And look at in one day how fast they grew. So I thought it would look cute in here, very spring-like and cottagey, and just put it in there. Now I have a stick in here to hold this one up because it wants to bend. And to keep that same cottagey look in this basket, I'm just adding another um, clay pot, putting some of that, what is this called? It's, actually, it's called a, a celsius or something, but it's like like moss. And I'm going to just let it hang over so that it looks like the birds have made a mess of it. And then I'm going to use this little pot with the little eggs just over here in the corner. Let's push that over. I had this little riser that I had got. And I was going to use them for my um, cloches, which I still do. But for now, I'm going to just place it right beside this. Push this over a bit push this thing over a bit too. There. I'm just going to put one of these canisters with all the little baby clay pots. They're so cute. Look at how small they are. I just thought it would give more of a springy cottage vibe. And I'm going to place that on top. I always like to put something underneath things so it grounds it.
So friends, I hope you enjoyed that little video of me decorating my shelves. So I'm tired now and I've got to get ready to go away for the weekend. I'm going to have a little girly weekend with my daughter in Buffalo. And you know what that means. Shopping, spending money, Starbucks, and lots of fun. So I hope you all have a great weekend and we will see you when I get back.